She's really naughty at making you laugh <laughs> at the most inappropriate moments. This is my assistant, Masala. It's an honor to meet you. And your cameraman over there, Castor? Hello. I'm Pollux. Let's get locked in. Welcome to Miami. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. How are you guys enjoying the weather? Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> I know they have you New York in New York. But you've been able to enjoy it at all? Not really. In the car. In a little bit, in right? In the car looking out the window. Let's take this interview outside. Yeah, there you go. How was it like getting into this? Because it's new characters. How was it like getting into uh, the movie with people who have already worked together, kind of have their own, you know, deal going on? Did they take you in with open arms? Absolutely. Ab absolutely, yeah. And and um, but we're also well. I'm I'm from District 13, so we're kind of I'm meeting Jennifer for the first time, and. Um, so it takes a second for us to get comfortable with it, with each other on camera. So it kind of all Works. assisted. It worked. Yes. It worked. Yeah. Same. Yeah. And how was it like working with Jennifer Lawrence? Because I mean, we don't know her. You guys know her, but on camera and during the interviews and stuff, she seems so just cool, chill, down to earth, funny. Was that? Is She's that really she funny. Is? She's really naughty at making you laugh <laughs> at the most inappropriate moments just before the camera is about to roll. She likes to joke and she likes to play around a bit. And you have a really cool character, especially us journalists. Like, yeah. it's something that we're really interested in seeing, especially in the book. It's so nice. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's great. Uh, you know, Cressida is all about her job. Plutarch introduces her as one of the best uh, documentary filmmakers of her, her generation. And, uh, you know, she's from the capital. She's turned rebel. She wants to overthrow Snow. But Lightbox, it's kind of irrelevant to her whether she likes Katniss or believes in Katniss. They've just got a job to do. She has to package her as the symbol of the revolution. She has to make her the Mockingjay um, in order to stir the masses. So for me, as a woman, it was really liberating and great to play a role that is just about her job and getting the shot. It really shows how battles can be fought in the media world. Oh, totally. A lot of this movie is about how um, the battle is of uh, propaganda and spin and uh, winning hearts and minds, which is very relevant for modern day. And in the book, your head is completely shaved, not in the movie. Yeah. In the book, she's described as having a shaved head with a tattoo. So you could kind of interpret that as how much of the head, which, right, is, what we, which is what we did. Mm -hmm. um, I was prepared to share. To, Were you? To, have she it was wasn't a deal look. breaker. She it was. I was, was, I, was prepared, <laughs> I was prepared to do that. I was. Cool. I was. I had. You know, reconciled myself to doing that. But in the end, we just went half, and now I got this kind of funky undercut that I like. So I'm glad she doesn't look like me. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you both have very popular shows. What can you tell us about uh, your role in the next season of Game of Thrones for you, Natalie, and House of Cards for you? Because we're big fans. Yeah, Marriage, Third Time Lucky, mm. is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've taken on a different role in the third season, so, you know, no more lobbying. Something, to, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to Something sit and else. wait for February, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you.